Hello everyone. So we are going to start a new video series for the Azure Synapse Analytics. Azure Synapse Analytics is important from an Azure Data Engineer perspective. So we are going to cover Azure Synapse Analytics from a basic to the advanced level. We will try to understand each and everything with practical and we will also try to cover multiple projects around it. So let's start and let's first understand what is Azure Synapse Analytics in this particular video and later we will do a practical and the projects. So let's start. What is Azure Synapse Analytics? It is an integrated analytics platform in a Microsoft Azure that brings together big data and data warehousing. What does it mean? Let's try to understand with the example. So generally what we see in a company, generally we have a data in a multiple sources. Like suppose I have all the transaction related data that is available in a SQL Server. Suppose I have a few data that is coming from a API. Suppose I have a few data that is coming as a Excel file from my external resources. Similarly, suppose few data that is available in a JSON format and few data that is available in a few other DB like S3 we have a data like that generally we see our data is available in a multiple places. Now as a data engineer what generally we do, what we do, we try to bring this all the data which is available in a multiple places. What we do, we try to set up a pipeline which will bring the data in a common places where actually we try to load a data, we try to load a data in our data lake. That's how generally we follow as a data engineer. Now, after once we have a data that is available in a data lake, right? And that we call it as a branch layer, branch layer. Now, once we have a data that is available in a da data lake, right? Based on that, what we do? We try to create our silver layer. We try to create a silver layer means we try to process this data. We try to process, we try to clean this data clean this data for that we write a certain PySpark code or the Scala code to read this uh, bronze layer this is this data is very huge right this data will be very huge so this data we try to read so for that we write a PySpark code we write a Scala code and based on that what we do we try to create a silver layer now once we create a silver layer right we try to create on top of this for the reporting purpose we try to create a gold layer data set, gold data set and this gold data set we try to load into a SQL data warehouse, SQL data warehouse for example. So this is how the process generally happens. So generally we try to bring the data in a data lake that is our bronze layer. Once we have data available in a bronze layer, right? what we do? We try to read that data, we try to clean the data, we try to process data based on the some PySpark code, Scala code and to write a PySpark code and Scala code, what generally we use? We use a Databricks, we use a Azure Databricks, this kind of the services we generally use, right? Based on this Azure Databricks, we write a PySpark code and based on the certain cluster, we try to process the data. Now, once we process the data right we try to create a gold data set and we try to dump the data in a SQL data warehouse now this SQL data warehouse whatever the data is available right that actually we connect with our power bi power bi for the reporting perspective from a visualization perspective we try to connect the SQL data warehouse and we try to visualize the data that's how generally it happens in a, a real time organization now in this case if you will see what actually we are doing we are doing a ETL service this is nothing but the, this is a ETL service right so for ETL what generally we do we use a Azure data factory in Azure environment right this is a one service now for the data lake so in a Azure for the data lake what generally we use we use a ADLS that is a Azure data lake storage right that is another service generally we use now for the for processing what generally we use we use a databricks so that we can write a PySpark code and the Scala code this is another one service we use now for the data warehouse again we create a SQL data warehouse now to connect with the SQL data warehouse we based on the power bi we connect and we try to visualize the data means for the one analytical problem for the one analytical problem we try to use a multiple service now to overcome this what Azure Synapse has done it has bring all the big data, it has bring all the big data as well as 
data warehouse together it has bring all the big data as well as data warehouse together it means suppose you have to perform a etl service etl service so azure synapse has integrated azure data factory in azure synapse itself means you can write any kind of the etl code in azure synapse itself now for that data lake right you can easily connect with the adls or another blob storage that is a uh, possible now for the data warehouse right it will provide you the sql data warehouse you can create a dedicated sql or the serverless sql and based on that you can analyze you can directly query the azure data lake storage means whatever the data is available in azure data lake storage right you can create a sql pool like the data warehouse and you can query a data and you can visualize the data means data warehousing also is possible in azure synapse now if you have to write any kind of the spark code right so they have come up with the spark pool so based on the spark pool you can create a cluster and you can write any kind of the pyspark code scala code or any language you can write a code and you can process the data means all the big data analytical service and the data warehouse service they have bring together in azure synapse now you don't need to depend on the any data bricks or any other services and also from this sql pool right in data warehouse you can directly connect the power bi so this facility also they have provided in azure synapse itself mean in one azure synapse analytics you can do all the big data related thing and also the data warehouse related thing everything is possible in a one single go so that's how azure synapse analytics is very much important now let's understand it enable organization to query analyze and visualize vast amount of data from a different resources synapse combine capability of data integration that is nothing but etl data warehousing that is a sql data warehouse big data analytics means any kind of the spark code you can write and machine learning into a single service it combine capability of the data integration data warehouse big data analytics and machine learning into a single service so i hope you got the idea in azure synapse we can write any kind of the etl we can write any kind of the data warehouse we can build a data warehouse we can build a big data analytics solution and also any machine learning code also we can do in azure synapse itself now what are the key feature of the azure synapse unified experience allow user to manage process and query data in a one single place if you have to manage a data if you have to process a data if you have to query a data in a single place itself you can do that that is a one of the key feature on demand and the provision query you can use a on demand query or the serverless what is on demand means on demand means you can set up your own cluster you can set up your own cluster for the data warehouse or you can use a serverless serverless when i am saying serverless it means azure will azure will manage all the service for you azure will manage all the cluster like you have to suppose the cluster size you have to increase based on the data so everything will be maintained by the azure itself means you can use a on demand you can set up your own cluster or the serverless also you can use so it provide the both facility for the sql pool integrate with the machine learning seamless integration with the azure machine learning is possible with the help of azure synapse power bi integration allows direct integration with a power bi for the visualization and the reporting so that is the advantage we get so i hope you got the overall idea about the azure synapse we will do a more practical so that we'll get a better idea so in azure synapse we get a data from a different resources right on prem cloud and all so what generally we do we try to store the data in azure data lake storage and if you have to write a sql code on top of this you can write the sql code if you have to do any kind of the spark code that is also possible in a azure spark code you can write sql code you can write if you have to write any etl pipeline similar to the adf you can do that it means all the data integration management monitoring security everything is possible as well you have a direct connection with the power bi so that you can connect with the power bi for the reporting and all means one single service providing everything for the analytical purpose so i hope you got the idea about the azure synapse analytics in next video we will try to set up azure synapse analytics